Hello everyone. Uh, I am here for Peace in the Valley today and for our next episode I would like to see if I can make something. Here is my file and it does not have a handle. So what do you think we want to do? I want to make a handle. Found a piece of scrap cherry wood here. Came off of a uh, cutting board that I made not too long ago. And I would like to turn this, attach it onto this, and actually I'm not going to put on a turn or anything like that. But I would like to see if I can get a handle on this. So join me. We're gonna start off here. I'm gonna just put this right inside my vise. Okay, we'll just keep that right there for now. And we're gonna just work on cutting that. One of the first things I wanna do is square it. Right now you'll see that we're off by a few degrees on this side and we're off by a few degrees on this side. It actually was a broken piece. So we're going to work on that right now. Okay, now we've got it square. So I think one thing I want to do is use the router and round some of that. But before I do, we're going to go over to the drill press. Okay, I think we're pretty close. I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to try to hold it by hand. I probably should clamp it down, but I'm not sure where that piece is. So I'm going to use right here. Just kind of mark it, make sure I'm in the middle where I want to be. I think that's close. And we're going to flip it on. There's my own switch right in front of me. Okay, seems like we got that drilled without issue. Let's go see if we can uh, round this off like it would be a normal tool. Okay, now we're at the router and my router is actually kind of unique Oops. because it's cordless. And it fits right here in my routing table that I built. So we're going to change bits here. Right now, I only have a half inch cutting bit on it, straight cut. And I want to do a round over. We'll just use the quarter inch round over. Make sure when you're using your tools, you always put a, put stuff back. Otherwise you won't be able to find it next time. Okay. Now we'll put this up to about where we want it. Lock it in. Okay. Okay. 
got a little bit of a chip off there. It's okay. I'm going to try to lower it just slightly. Okay. Yeah, couldn't really do much. I already had part of that taken off before. We'll probably just leave it that way. can see I've got my handle right here. Now I already had a groove in here from before. We're just going to leave that in. Okay, now we're going to come back here and we're going to see how well it's going to go on here. You know what? I think we're going to have to drill the hole out just a little bigger. What we're going to do is we're going to be able to tap on it like that. But, I think the hole needs to be just a slight bit bigger. Okay, we're going to go ahead and switch to just a wee bit larger bit. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna go back and try and see if we can put this on. Now you're thinking this is just a round hole, which it is, but we're gonna see if we can make this work. <clears throat> Fun thing we can always do is with fire. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna heat this up. until it's really, really hot. Now, we do not want to affect the rest of the blade or file because that could cause problems and make it very weak. So that's why we have it into the vise right here because that actually causes it to act as a heat sink. You'll see down here, it's not even hot at all. Now you're probably thinking, isn't there other methods? Yeah. My dad always used to say there's more than one way to skin a cat. Take it for what, it, what it's worth, but yes. You could actually drill a hole out larger, and I've done this before with tools, and then fill it with five ton epoxy and then shove it in and leave it sit there all night or a couple of days actually to harden. Okay, we're getting to the point where it's starting to glow. You can see that the vise is actually sucking a lot of our heat. Okay, if you look, I don't know if you can see it, but just doing that actually made it shape into the square. And I didn't even work hard on it. I just set it on with my bare hands. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead. And we're gonna go ahead and put it on right now. Let's see what happens. 
And if it smokes, you did a good thing. Leave it sit for a little bit. Now if you try to do it without heating it, it would just split apart. Okay, here's a hammer that I made. Yeah, I like it. You don't need to make fun of it all the time. Okay, and now we have a handle on it. It's not even warm. And it's sealed right inside. So let's see how it works. What can we file? Well, very very nice okay and that is how you make yourself a handle one last thing we are going to do here on this handle is we're going to put in a hole for either a rope or to put it on a metal rod or somewhere where you can store it easily enough we have it. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I look forward to coming back to Peace in the Valley. Be sure to like and subscribe and also click notify when a new video comes out. I will be glad to show you more stuff. We've got lots more in the works. So a simple way to attach a handle right onto your tools. Take care.